All right, so finally, finally we're to the connections problems at the end of the lesson where they take kind of what we were doing and apply it to something else in real life. Um, you still doing all right? Okay, so it says Jocelyn held her daughter's birthday party at a trampoline gym. It cost $350, not including the refreshments. Um, the refreshments cost $2.95 a person. Um, and Jocelyn paid a total of $438.50 for the party. How many people came to the party? So this is another one of those where we have to set up an equation. She paid a total of $438.50. Now that included renting the place for $350 plus $2.95 for each person that was there. Now they didn't tell us how many people that's what we're trying to find so we've set up this equation we need to solve to find P so we're going to take the total and first subtract the cost of just renting the place so we're going to subtract 350 from both sides Okay, that leaves us with $88.50. So now we're down to the equation. $88.50 equals 2.95 times the number of people. And we're going to finish this out by <clears throat> dividing both sides by $2.95. Oh, very good. So we find out that she must have had 50 people, or excuse me, not 50, 30 people at the party. We take 88.50 divided by 2.95. Very good. There were 30 people at this party. All right, last question. Farsi Jones purchased 168 donuts for an office party at 10 cents a donut. The office manager was able to reimburse him 70% of what he spent. How much was his out-of-pocket spent? So that means how much did he end up having to pay that wasn't reimbursed? So first we have to find out how much did the donuts cost in the first place? Well, he bought 168 donuts and they were 10 cents a donut. So the cost of the donuts, we take 168 donuts times 10 cents. Good. Yeah, so it cost him $16.80 to buy these donuts. Now he got reimbursed for part of it, but only for 70%. Okay, so the company paid 70% of the $16.80, and he had to pay the rest. So let's use the complement method, you know, where you say, okay, well, if he paid 70%, or if they paid 70%, what percent was left for him to pay? So what percent was he paying if they paid 70%? Okay, so you'd say, well, there's 30% left out of 100. Um, change that percent to a decimal. So move decimal two places to the left. So we have 0.3. So to find his cost, he paid 30% of the $16.80. We're going to take 0.3 times 16.80.
Okay, good. So he ended up paying $5.04 and the company paid the rest. All right, good job.